Oh, hi there, YouTube. Um, I did a video recently, or a while back. I don't know. I don't know when this one's going to come out. But I did a video on shifting tips. Um, and in the comment section, everybody's like, Oh, my bike shifts fine. I need to know how to get it in neutral. So, let's help you guys out with that. Okay, so million dollar question. How do I find neutral on my bike? Well, let's see. Are you having problems finding neutral when it's cold? Or are you having problems finding neutral when it's hot? I don't know if you guys can see or not. Currently, my bike is in neutral. It is hot. I just got back in from a ride. So, I had my helmet and everything on. I thought I'd go ahead and do this video for you. But, um... It's the same whether the bike's hot or cold. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, right now what we're going to do, we're going to simulate, and we're going to do it with the bike off. We're going to simulate a driving scenario. Okay, so, pull the clutch in, first gear, we take off, grab second gear, grab third gear, fourth fifth, sixth, so on. Now, we're downshifting, right? We're coming to a stop. We're in first gear, okay? So now, we want to kick to neutral. Boom. Just like that. It's not hard. It's not. Now we're going to start the bike up and we'll show you. All right, first gear, second, third, fourth, and yeah, we went all the way to sixth. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, now it's, there's one. Now, neutral. Just a little bit of pressure with your heel. So it clicked. If your heel toe shifter is set up properly, that's how you find neutral. You want those things as low as you can get them. Because if that thing's clear up here, you're going to push down too far. Okay. If. I'll show you guys. Yeah, I'll do that differently. So let's do that one more time. We'll go third gear. First gear. We banged it in. Second gear. Third gear. That should be second. First. Nope. That's first. It's going to fourth, because I'm hitting it too many times. But now, we're in first gear. We towed to first. Okay? Now, we're going to heel to neutral. Just a little bit of pressure. Right there. If you go beyond that point right there, you're going to go to second. Don't try to come from second to neutral. You can do it. But it's easier if you go from first to neutral. See? First to neutral. Now, bike's off, right? Watch this. Just a little click. And my indicator is not working. But we are in neutral. There's first. Neutral. 
there. Bikes off first. Neutral. Just a little click. Where you want to go second? Here. Second. Neutral. Just a little bit. Don't go too far. Second. See? Just one click. You want to listen to your bike. Okay? Listen to what your bike is telling you. Your bike is talking to you. Listen to this click. That's a hard click. Now listen to this. That's a somewhat softer kick. So now we're going to go first to second. You jam it. You went all the way down. So now you're second. So do you want to go back to first? Jam it. Alright, let's go to neutral. Just a little click. Done. See? It's not hard. Heel toe shifters are nice. They make it easier. Um, if you don't have one, I don't know because I don't use my toe. I could see how that would be difficult. There, it might be easier to go from second to neutral. Because you toe up and then toe down. Toe up, toe down. Toe up, toe down. Toe up, toe down. Toe. Heel. Toe. Heel. I can do this all day. It's not hard. Alright guys. Um, I never really put that much thought into it until, you know, the comment section. Because I know people do complain about the noise that, you know, your shifter makes when you're shifting going down the road. So I thought I'd just try to help you guys out with that one. And... Um, you guys actually are great in the comments by asking further questions and wanting to know more stuff. So, uh, like I said, I hope that helps you guys out. Um, it's not hard. It's just a little bit. And you saw I can... You can go from first to neutral using the heel. If you're trying to use the toe, if you don't have the heel shifter and you're just trying to use your toe... Don't try to tow up to neutral. Go ahead and go from that. Just what I found, me personally, what I found is go from second to neutral by towing down. You know, and just there's there's steps and stages there. If you sit there and you play at your bike in the garage, you'll get a feel for that. Go out in your garage, your shed, whatever you got, your driveway. You know, um, do it with the bike cold. Um, sometimes if, um, you pull in, you're going to park the bike. I know some people do it. I've seen them do it. I've done it myself. It's a habit. You're in a hurry. You got to get off the bike quick. You're tired, whatever. Some people will roll in and, uh, they'll have the clutch in. Bike will be in gear. They'll hit the kill switch, shut the bike off, and let the clutch out before the bike's done rolling. Well, that puts a little bit of pressure on that transmission gear. Therefore, it's going to be a little bit harder to get into neutral. So if your bike's not running and you're not in neutral, what you might have to do is you might have to go between gears a little bit just to get that bind off of it or just rock the bike a little bit with the clutch in. That'll alleviate some of that pressure off of them gears. Um, but the, the way I do it, like I said, I just... I downshift all the way to first gear with my toe, and then I can bump it with my heel, and I can get neutral. My indicator light was acting up. I'm not sure why. Um, if it was just something because of how fast I was going and repeating it. But I don't have an issue finding neutral. Um, I don't. I don't use neutral all that often, to be honest with you. Um, I want to say. I don't stop at red lights and try to put it in neutral to take my hands off the clutch or anything like that because if my hands are cramping up while I'm going down the road, I'll take my hands off the handlebar and just stretch them out and do whatever I need to do. And then sitting in the garage or parking or something like that, 
generally I leave the bike in gear because it doesn't have a brake. I know it's got a locking kickstand, but do you, how much trust and faith do you want to put into that? So I generally like to keep it in first gear. That's just me, my preference. But anyway, like I said, I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you don't want to do that, reach out to me, message me on Instagram. You know, we'll talk through it, we'll figure it out. We'll try to get you guys uh, sorted out to help you out a little bit better. Um, but that's what I enjoy doing is stuff like this because I feel like I'm helping you guys out. So, like I said, I hope it was helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Ride fast, live slow, like, share, subscribe, comment. We'll see you on the next one.